Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Um, it's been about seven months since the last time that we played. If I recall correctly, uh, the last time we played, we won a war against France, for France. So France, what was France, is now part of the Holy Roman Empire. Scotland still has uh, part of it, but that's fine. Uh, and Kaiser Dietrich the Fourth, the Hammer, this guy, died uh, and was replaced by his son, Kaiser Vigoric II, whom we now are. Um, since the last time that I played, a whole bunch of DLC has been released by Paradox, some of which I have uh, added. Um, let's see, I added Conclave way back when it was released, thinking I'd be getting back to playing it soon, and haven't played it since then, so Conclave is in. Uh, I've also added Way of Life and Reaper's Dew. Uh, Reaper's Dew, I think, is related to the Black Plague, and Way of Life, I think, is just a bunch of, you know, uh, character enhancement type things. Um, so, I, I know very little about these DLCs or how they're going to change the game, so we will learn it together. Actually, you probably know more than I do at this point. But there's a whole bunch of alerts up here before we get started, so let's look at these first. Uh, recruiting Court Physician, which must be a... Uh, Conclave thing? Send out messengers in order to find a candidate for the position of court physician. You will likely have to pay the candidate in order to entice them to your court. If you already have a court physician and choose to employ a new one, the old one will be resigned from his or her. Okay. Ensure the entire realm knows you are looking for a candidate for the position of court physician. You have sent messengers and scouts out in all directions to scour the realm for skilled physicians that would be willing to take up residence in your court. Word should reach you shortly if they manage to find a suitable candidate. Hopefully they will not bring back a quack solver. I hope I do not have to wait too long, says Kaiser Vigoric. Alright, that's one. We have... Oh, yes, this looks very different, doesn't it? Loyalists. Pragmatists. Glory hounds. Zealots. Malcontent. Okay, so we have a... Apparently, potential council members are relegated to different categories, depending on how they will typically vote. So a loyalist would vote for me, I presume. Generally be a faithful servant to the ruler. Yep. A pragmatist will always aim for the path of least resistance when it comes to strengthening the realm and gaining power for themselves. They are inclined to support wars for reclaiming of de jure land or counties with the ruler's culture. They may also support wars against weak opponents. Oppose the creation of other strong vassals in the realm and will support the revoking of titles from already powerful vassals. Okay. Glory Hound. Uh, always push for the realm to make prestigious advances for glory. Oppose attacking weak neighbors, but against the more powerful opponents, they will not care much for the reason of the war as long as it will strengthen the realm. Also prefers a strong and centralized realm. Okay. And Zealots. Bringing religion to the forefront of the realm's political agenda. If religious war targets are available to this counselor, might oppose wars against other targets. The counselor will also be more inclined to accept hostile action against heathen and heretic characters. Okay. And then malcontents, unhappy with the current state of affairs, troublesome force, always oppose the will of the ruler. Okay. So I've got uh, one loyalist, my court chaplain, uh, two zealots and two glory hounds. I need to appoint advisors. I don't know what this Enforce Realm Peace button does. Enforcing Realm Peace will end all internal wars between your direct vassals. The peace will take effect three months after it's been decreed and will last for five years. Use this ability to keep your vassals from growing too strong within your realm. Okay. I'm looking at the, the requirements here. Okay. Designated Regent, Court Physician, Court Eunuch. <laughs> I think these I don't think these have changed. I recognize all these except for the Court Physician and the, the what was the other top one? Design oh Designated Regents was, was the old one. Yeah, so there's the council as I'm used to it. Chancellor, Marshal, Steward, Spymaster, Chaplain. Right. Shows you an overview of your liege's council. Okay, so if I had a liege. Alright, so I need to appoint advisors. How do I... What's the best way to choose advisors? Oh, people are angry for not being on the council. I see. 
One seat on the council. Negative 40. Oof. Yikes. So I suppose maybe advisors are just my way of um, appeasing a couple of vassals who are pissed off that they're not on the council. Looks like there's only one, two, three, four, five of them, and they're all, of course, king level. Um, let's see who has the lowest approval. Berengar does. And... Andrzej does. Say him. And Berengar. Okay, so that's that. Title loss in succession. County of Haino. Hmm. Might lose these to Prince Aganolf? Since when? Wait, is Aganolf my heir? Nope. Who the hell is Aganolf? He's a cousin or something, isn't he? Brother? Prince Adolf. He's a prince. Prince Aganolf. Heir to the county of Vermandois. Hmm. Why is he the heir to Vermandois and not Dietrich? Unless something's just not updated yet? Hmm. Well, I'll have to keep an eye on that. I'm not sure why those three might be lost, will be lost in succession. 19 titles can be created. That's nothing new. Four titles can be usurped. Keep an eye on that. Vassal res levies raised too long. Yes, that's from the last war that we had. De jure ducal claims. Okay. There's a few there. Dangerous factions. Ooh, independence, really? Is it 94%? That's maybe not unheard of, given that I'm relatively new Kaiser. I'll have to watch that, though. There's quite a few members. Pick a character focus. This is new. This must be the way of life. DLC. Um, I see. Choosing a character focus is a way to improve your s skills at any one thing. War or hunting? Hmm. Seduction or intrigue? Um. Stewardship. Business. Scholarship or theology? Hmm. Family or carousing? Uh, I think this is what I'd like to improve the most, my intrigue, so... I do, but I don't want to be more seductive. <laughs> I've got enough kids as it is. Uh, intrigue. How's my wife? She's 45. She, she may be past her childbearing years. I don't know. Okay, intrigue. Kaiser Vigoric II seeks to become a better schemer, spending most of his time engrossed in court intrigue. This focus unlocks the spy on and free from captivity options versus suitable targets. Oh, okay, so depending on what you choose, you may get other options available. This focus unlocks the dual action. Invite to carousing. Nothing there. Build observatory. Huh. Yeah. Seduce option. <laughs> yeah, let's do spy on and free from captivity. So that... Uh, I don't know when that's going to have an effect. 
Oh, wait. Got ambitions still, and focuses. Is the focus something like the ambition where you have to achieve it first? It doesn't say you get a reward if you get plus three intrigue. We'll see. Maybe it'll update when I unpause the game. Um, okay, what was next? Dangerous factions. We saw that. Special title actions possible. Set crown focus. Vermindor will be more likely to prosper and may receive special events. Only one county may be crown focused at a time. What is my crown focus at the moment? Hmm, let's see, wait, I have uh, Lorraine, Haino, Santois, Bar, Verdun, and, oh, and Vermandois. Uh, so I apparently haven't assigned it yet, have I? It should be Lorraine, that's where my county seat is. Or just more likely to prosper more, may receive special events. Okay, so I guess. Uh, I don't necessarily want it to be my my seat. It could be any county that needs my attention, that needs to develop. But I'm going to set it as Lorraine anyway. Uh, following special minor titles can be granted. Designated Regent of the Holy Roman Empire, Court Physician. What do I want to make my designated Regent? Maybe my wife. I do that? Can it be a woman? Hmm. Um. What's my wife's name? Ayla? Yeah, there we go. It'll be you. <coughs> You're my designated regent. Okay, court physician, they're doing a search. Two, ch two children lack a childhood focus. So I get to choose my children's focus, huh? Etiquette. Humility. Heritage. Tutored by various courtiers and mem family members, focusing on assimilating German culture and the Catholic faith. Okay. Hmm. Well, it needs to improve stewardship as much as possible, so let's say... Hmm. Duty. Yeah. Uh, and what other kid? Krimhild. She could improve her diplomacy, honestly. Uh... Though it's hard to tell what corresponds to what. I'm seeing the colors here, right? Green, green. Red, red. Presumably this is blue, blue. Great, so there's no purple. Okay. There's no intrigue ones. Um, let's say etiquette. Oh, there's an intrigue option. Okay, so intrigue and diplomacy are kind of the two sides of the same coin. Got it. All right, three children lack an education focus. Good grief. So if they're... Uh, all right, I think I get it. All your kids need a focus, basically. Um, depending on their age, they call it a different thing. Diplomacy education. Uh, you need to improve your stewardship, dude. Prince Dietrich focuses his studies. On bookkeeping and administration, brooding and conscientious children will do better with this education, while indolent and haughty children will be hampered. Ah, okay. I have n He has neither one of those. Uh, 
Anselm. <clears throat> My nephew. Okay, I don't really care that much. Um, say learning. Timid children and idolizers will do better. Brooding and playful will be hampered. Either one. Okay. And lastly, Princess Sibyl, my daughter. Uh, you're the stewardship one as well. Nope. Okay. I am threatening. Right. Yep, that makes sense. Okay, uh, so let's, let's see. Before we unpause the game... Let's um, just go through our character here one more time. Refresh our memory. His traits. He's a charismatic negotiator. Uko's hammer. Striking like the lightning of Uko. This character has fought for the Suomenusko faith. I don't remember that happening. That's something new. Kind. Patient. Brave. That's a good one. And greedy, which isn't terrible. Uh, and we have a diplomacy score of 13, 8, martial, 8, stewardship, 2, intrigue, and 4, learning. State scores are decent, except uh, stewardship kind of blows, and intrigue super blows, and state learning mostly blows. Marshall's really good, though. Wow. Um, right. Let's just look at the geopolitical situation here really quick. We do still have the Holy uh, Holy Land. And I think at the end of the last episode, which was, like I said, it's like seven months ago, I said at the time, hey, I'm, uh, I'm thinking about starting a war for, like, Sicily or something like that. But upon further reflection, I think I may... Um, stand pat for now, let my threat score go down. Uh, that's one reason why I'd stand pat. And the other, the other reason is I'm betting somebody will come after the Holy Land sooner or later, and I need all my uh, soldiers at disposal to fight that war when it happens. But we're all over the place here. We've got the Holy Land, we've got territory on Sicily, we have Greece, and uh, Western Anatolia. We have all, almost all of Italy. Uh, Austria, Hungary, Poland, parts of Croatia, uh, Denmark, the southern part of Sweden, the Low Countries, uh, all of the Alps, Aquitaine and France, Brittany, uh, and I think that's it. That's pretty impressive, I think. All right, so we need to watch factions. We need to watch our threat score, make sure nobody no, nobody tries to come kick our ass because of it. We've got people probably in a, in a defensive pact against us, I would guess. Um, so let's get to it, shall we? No more talking. Oh, here we go. I fulfilled the ambition to improve martial ability. Okay, I don't know when that happened, but sure. Choosing a new ambition. Groom and heir. Fertility is increased by 20%. Nah, I don't really need that. Build a war chest. Wants to build a war chest and prepare his realm for war. Has amassed a suitably large amount of money for his realm. 300 gold if ruling a county, 500. Oh, 300 if ruling a county, 500 if ruling a duchy, 700 if ruling a kingdom, or 1,000 if ruling an empire. Well, I'll, I could fulfill that one really quick. Or see the realm prosper. Staying at peace for five years. Ooh, five years, that's a long time to hope for um, no wars. Let's do build a war chest, because we can fulfill that one really quick. Following important decisions are available. Extort subjects. Ex 
Extorting your subjects is a great way of quickly raising funds for your war chest. Beware, though, for this action will be seen as tyrannical by your subjects. The mental health of rulers who care for their subjects may take a damage from this action. I, yeah, I'm not going to do that. That's, that's crazy. What are these other options here? These ones are all the normal ones. Um, Damascus Steel, that's one of the mods I have installed. Found the Holy Roman Empire. Already there. Recruit Court Physician. Did that one already. Shut the gates. During an epidemic, rulers can shut the gates to avoid contact with the commoners and hopefully be safe from infection. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, known plots. Let's look. Prisoners. Whole bunch of prisoners. Threats? Whole bunch of threats. None of them that frightening, though. It's those factions I'm more worried about. Okay. Things are going to be happening fast now. What is this? Arrange betrothal. Whoa, jihad for Jerusalem. Uh-oh, see, I told you. The great Sunni caliph Kaikaus II has decided to call a jihad against the kafirs in the kingdom of Jerusalem. He urges all righteous Sunni Muslims to take up arms against the depraved Kaiser Vigoric II of the Holy Roman Empire for the glory of Islam. Allah is merciful. To arms! To the two-faced infidel Vigoric. Damn your seventh grandfather. <laughs> this is a formal declaration of war. Our armies shall meet on the field of battle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. My liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. We propose that King Jaspert II of Aquitaine and Princess Sibylle of the Holy Roman Empire should be betrothed. Hmm. Let's see. What's my daughter's situation like? I have three daughters. Princess Sibylle is my... Oh, four daughters. Princess Clementia, Queen of Svea Rica. Right, in Sweden, okay. Um, Martha and Friedrika. You know, Sibyl's gonna have to marry somebody and Marrying king's pretty damn good. So let's say accept. He's one of my vassals. One of your scouts report of a pilgrim who just arrived in Lorraine. The pilgrim, known as Carl, has been on a pious quest to visit all the Catholic holy sites and is now ending his journey here. During his travel, he's, uh, travels, he has accumulated a vast knowledge regarding medicine and is seeking to put his skills to use. Carl becomes court physician if I pay him 89 gold. Humble, trusting, stubborn, charitable, gluttonous, mystic, monk, scarred, pilgrim, scholarly. This guy's interesting. He's a scarred mystic monk. Sure. What the hell? First, first ever court physician. That's new. All right, uh, so there's going to be a jihad, huh? Well, people should be joining me uh, on account of it being a religious war. There's a way to invite. Uh, I'm going to forbid myself to lead an army. There's a way to invite uh, people to join your war. The Byzantines won't, because they're not Christian. Uh, no, it's not there. Maybe it'll come up as things progress. I, th I want to say that I learned in previous Holy Land, Holy Wars, uh, I'm going to actually hang back a little bit until I see the Muslim armies start marching there, and then I'll 
bring the soldiers in. Who is this? Raiders. Hmm. Okay, you stay there. God, I still have the vassal levy raised too long penalty from before. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Wait just a little bit. Let's see what happens down here. Great Holy War for Hungary. Oh god, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. The mighty high priest Belik has decided that it is time to teach Kaiser Vigoric II of the Holderman Empire and the believers in the dead crucified God another lesson in humility. Oh shit. All free Tengri men are invited to partake in the scouring of the Kingdom of Hungary. Erlik Khan is with us. Oh, son of a bitch. To the soft fanatic Vigoric, may your years be short and miserable. This is a former de formal declaration of war. Our armies shall meet on the field of battle. Uh, okay, that makes things tricky. On the one hand, we have all of the Ilkhanate fighting for Hungary. On the other hand, we have what is it? This, it's the Sunnis, right? So I presume it's the Fatimids. Where are you, sir? Whoops. Damn it. Hmm? Okay, well, he's somewhere. Sunni Caliphate. Doesn't tell me where that is, though. Abbasid Baylor Balik. Whoa. Okay. Well, anyway. Wait. Yeah, Tengri. Okay. So I got the Muslims coming for the Holy Land. I've got the Tengri coming for Hungary. Two at the same time. Hate to break this to you guys, but I think I gotta fight for Hungary over the Holy Land. Hungary is my backyard, man. The Holy Land's just kind of wherever you can, you know, whenever you can hold it, you hold it. If you can't, you can't. Uh, that's my opinion, anyway. All right. Let's just let things roll for now and see where these armies show up. Wait a minute. My liege, I write to you with shocking news. Aldonza de Castrobarte tried to have me assassinated, my spymaster, uh, to make sure I wouldn't discover her plot to kill Baron Felipe of Castrobarte. Hmm. Most excellent Kaiser Vigric II. <clears throat> May you live in harmony and contentment. We propose that King Barnum of Norway and Christine, my courtier, marry. What's so great about Christine? Nothing. She's lowborn. Hmm. I could um, try to marry him off to my daughter, but that would require breaking a betrothal with one of my vassals, which would be a disaster. So, yeah, sure, whatever. Right, okay. Aldonza, what the hell are you doing? Well, expose her immediately. My god. This war isn't going quite as I thought it would. Which one? I lose more men per battle than I planned, and the sieges... The sieges are going on forever. More manpower and more siege weapons are what I need. Perhaps a friend could assist me with this. Ask Prince Gunzelin, my uncle... 
to join the war. Ask him for money. Or I do not need help. The war will soon be won. Hmm. I mean, it's going to be a while till... Till there's anybody anywhere doing anything. I'm not. I'm just not going to worry about the Holy Land. This is what I want to focus on. Hmm. Let's take the prestige, actually. Let's see what the hell this is. Ah, to the brave Kaiser Vigoric, may you live in harmony and contentment. We propose the Queen Blanca of Galicia and Alm Anselm Chatenois should get betrothed matrilineally. Anselm is my nephew. Prince Ferdinand, my brother, is his father, and that's his only son. Is Ferdinand the next in line? If something were to happen to both my sons, yes, he would be. So I do not want his, my brother's son, to marry matrilineally. On the off chance that he someday becomes the heir, possibly. Nope. Sorry. 